Hello everyone, what's up? In this airbrush tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use liquid mask for airbrushing in a way that will save you time and grief. For one, no more painting armor trim by hand. I will explain my top tips and tricks regarding liquid mask, including how to clean your brush and what products to buy or avoid. Are you tired of painting all that gold armor trim by hand? Or maybe you just want to try airbrush masking for the first time? Either way, this video is for you. Meet Mascol, my favorite liquid mask by far. First, shake the bottle well, and then take a good quality synthetic brush and make sure that it is slightly damp. Most tutorials out there will tell you to use a very old brush for this. Don't listen to them. Check that out, guys. As you can see, this liquid mask just flows without any effort, gliding across the surface of this shiny candy green armor panel. In fact, rather than painting with it, what I'm doing is letting it flow by capillary action, which is why I'm sticking to the outside of the panels first, using the raised surfaces as a guide. It's crucial to note that every single time that you see me bring the brush back with more product into the frame, I'm cleaning the brush in the same water pot that you saw me use before, then drying it slightly then reloading the brush again with mask call. This avoids a liquid mask drying up on your brush. And by also thinning the product very slightly, we're making the application far easier without compromising the effectiveness of the masking in any way, as you will see later. At the same time though, as you can see, once applied, the product stays where it's meant to be even when I'm rotating the piece around. Here you can see what I meant about cleaning my brush at regular intervals. While I fill in the rest, let me share another important tip. I've used a liquid mask products by Vallejo and by Amovmeg many times before. In fact, I've used both of those in the same way as here and also when creating liquid mask chipping. And let me tell you, I highly recommend Humbrol, or Humbrol I guess, over either of those products for either application. Another important tip is that if the surface of the panel to be masked is glossy, like it is here, you're going to have a much better experience both when applying the liquid mask and when removing it, as you will see later. Just look at how easily it spreads without any gunking up. How about the actual airbrushing, you ask? Well, as you can see, I use the same paint, the same dilution, the same pressure, and everything as always. But thanks to the robustness of the masking, I didn't have to be concerned at all, unlike when using masking tape. Time for the start of the show. The satisfying images that you've all been waiting for. Check that out, guys. In my previous video, I mentioned the super smooth and also rock hard finish provided by the Mr. Color Clear Paints. The difference between these and their much more common Tamiya equivalents was further demonstrated here. While the Tamiya clears looked really vibrant, more so than the Mr. Color paints, the surface was sticky and soft even after 48 hours of curing, which made masking an issue to be honest. Knowing that I wouldn't have those issues here was really awesome for me. and. I've never had a, let's say, liquid mask peeling experience like this one before. And trust me, I masked every single armor panel for an entire Warhound Titan, so I know what I'm talking about. Having to remove little bits of solidified liquid mask afterwards is not fun. While I show you some pictures of the completed night, let me tell you today's final tip. How to clean your brush. Now, if you use Humberall Mascal and follow the procedure that I explained, I can guarantee you that water will suffice. Nothing else will be needed. However, if you apply any of these products dry or also with an old brush, it's very likely that you're going to have a bad time. Most likely, 
whichever brush you use is going to have to go to the bin. Anyways, I hope that you've all enjoyed this video. Before I let you go, I would like to thank all of my YouTube members. Your moral support means a lot to me, and your generosity keeps me stocked with important consumables, like this same liquid mask. That is all for now from me, folks. But remember, keep it up and weather it out.